All right, this is me underloading the uh, the new stump grinder off the trailer. It's a lot easier to do now that the trailer just does most of the work. And here we are coming up to this little stump here. And this is about two to two and a half feet across. You'll notice I started about a foot and a half away, the back part of the blade anyway. And if you don't do that, or somebody's not doing that, they're not actually getting the roots, which are a pain in the backside if somebody misses those or and a lot of guys won't come back. But if you look at this, you'll notice how deep I'm going. I'll, I'll make a small bites. Um, and that way it amends into the soil so much better. Um, when you're done, small bites are easier on the machine. It's better for the land. It's better for everybody. It's easier to pack down when you're done. And I'll talk about that here in a minute when the video gets to that part. But you'll notice here how deep, how far down the blade is into the ground. A lot of guys don't bother going that deep, and when they don't, they end up leaving a, a shelf or a part of the stump, and on hot summers, that part of the ground doesn't have enough dirt on it to support grass life, and then you end up with a dead spot in the yard. Or if you have a really wet year, and uh, that top part of the stump that isn't cut down far enough ends up like a shelf, and you have... Uh, a waterlogged situation and then the grass dies again so it's good to find somebody that's actually going to go deep enough to get under the stump or at least at least six to eight inches down uh, they say 45 to get grass to grow but if you want grass to grow and stay growing that's better if you look at this mulch you'll notice it's dirty mulch uh, a lot of the guys uh, they're not going deep enough to mix it in with the dirt if, uh, if it's just a pile of clean mulch, that's an indicator that they didn't go down very deep. Uh, you want it to mix. Um, people with gardens love this stuff, that mulch, the, the, uh, whatever that product is from the stumps. It amends into the soil so nice and makes uh, its own compost. Uh, in fact, people mix various forms of fertilizer with it. Uh, you'll notice as I'm sweeping down through this, sometimes I may have to slow down a little bit because you'll get into harder spots. Most of the stumps will have hard spots and soft spots. And the roots, even if the stump is rotten on top, the roots survive and they're actually harder underneath the ground. And you have to have a machine that's powerful enough to get it underground. Here's the part where I'm actually pushing the debris back into the hole and mashing it down with the machine. Um, lots of guys don't pay the extra money to get that, that push blade, because that's a feature. And even the ones that do often don't get the remote control, and they have to walk back and forth and back and forth and back and forth with the machine to get that stuff back in the hole. And most of them aren't willing to do that. So if you take a look at this, I've got a high and a low speed and then I'm pulling it back and pushing it over and I go over it several times just to try to get a nice mound. Um, also people have a tendency to remove too much material and then six to eight months later, a year, whatever, depending on how big it is, you end up with a divot in the yard and, and I'm sure if you've walked around your own yard uh, you can go, well this is where a tree was and that's because they took too much material out. Even, even though you leave this much material, you may end up having to add material to it in a year or so. Uh, looks like I'm finishing it up an, an extra stump here. Just a little add-on. Sometimes it's nice to get rid of the extra junk in the yard. Um, nuisances that are you, you don't think about till you mow the lawn. So it's always a good idea to just kind of walk the yard when you're getting something like this done. I'm reloading it here. That's the customer talking to me.